In 1291, the King of England, Edward I, sought peace with his neighboring European superpower, France. Edward was also looking for a new wife, following the death of his beloved first wife, Eleanor of Castile. Central to the diplomacy of these two countries was Margaret of France, daughter of King Philip III of France. But who was Margaret, and what part did she play in the war, and following peace between England and France? Margaret was the daughter of King Philip III of France with his second wife, Maria of Brabant. She was born around 1279, at a time when England and France signed the Treaty of Amiens, for peace between the two nations. When she was six years old in October 1285, her father passed away and her half-brother, Philip IV inherited the throne. Philip IV, was the son of Margaret's father with his first wife, Isabella of Aragon. Margaret grew up in the French royal court, and was cared for and educated by both her own mother, and Joan I of Navarre, who was both wife and queen to her half-brother, Philip. Peace though between the two nations became tense against following the death of Edward I's beloved queen, Eleanor of Castile. Despite his grief, Edward had only one surviving male heir, Edward to inherit his throne, and searched for a new wife in order to secure the Plantagenet dynasty. Initially, Edward planned a union between his own son and another half-sister of Philip IV, Blanche of France. Blanche, who was also Margaret's sister, was famous for her beauty and when word of this reached, Edward, he decided to marry Blanche for himself. Philip IV agreed to this on the condition, that Edward gave up his claim of Gascony to France, which England had a duty to protect especially in the past from neighbouring Castile. When Edward's brother, Edmund Crouchback, Earl of Lancaster, travelled to France to conclude negotiations, Edward found out he had been deceived and Blanche was already to be married to the son of King Albert I of Germany, Rudolf III of Austria. Philip instead offered his half-sister, Margaret of France, in marriage to Edward. The rebuttal from Philip saw England and France descend into war which was mainly fought in the Duchy of Aquitaine. Peace though was finally brokered in 1299 through Pope Boniface VIII. The deal heavily weighed on the English side. Edward agreed to marry Philip's half-sister, Margaret, and Edward's own son, married Philip's daughter, Isabella of Valois. As part of Margaret's and Isabella's dowry, Edward regained for England Guyenne and his first wife's lands in Ponthieu and Montreuil. At the time of their marriage, Margaret was only 20 years old, and Edward was now 60. But still despite their age difference, there was still the opportunity for Edward and Margaret to produce a spare for the English crown. Margaret travelled to Dover in September 1299 and then on to Canterbury, where she married Edward in Canterbury Cathedral. Due to wars with both Scotland and France in the last decade, England was suffering big financial difficulties, which ultimately meant that the crown could not afford a coronation for Margaret. This meant that Margaret became the first queen not to be coronated since the Norman conquest over 200 years previously. Nonetheless, Margaret retained all the dignities and rights of the queen, even wearing the queen's crown for public appearance. Margaret followed in the footsteps of her predecessor, Eleanor, and joined her new husband on all his military campaigns and travels. Because of this she fell pregnant very quickly, and gave birth to a son in 1300 and gave Edward a much-needed spare to his throne. Her first child was named in honour of Thomas Becket, and be called Thomas of Brotherton, 1st Earl of Norfolk. Thomas Becket was the Archbishop of Canterbury, assassinated on the orders of Henry II in 1170. And in just over a year from her first birth, a second son, Edmund of Woodstock, 1st Earl of Kent was born to truly cement Edward's Plantagenet dynasty. Edmund was the future of father of Joan of Kent, who married Edward the Black Prince, great-grandson of Edward I. Edward as with his first wife, was totally devoted to Margaret. 
and when Margaret's sister passed away in 1305, Edward demanded that the English court should observe full mourning for her passing. In 1306, Margaret fell pregnant once last time and gave birth to a daughter, Eleanor, named in honor of her husband's first wife. In the year 1307, a 68-year-old Edward showed no sign of tiring from military campaigns, traveled north once again to Scotland to confront Robert the Bruce, with Margaret accompanying him. But this time, age and ill health got the better of him and he passed away from dysentery at Borough on Sands, near Carlisle. Margaret at this time was still a mere 26 years old. The year following her husband's death, Margaret's niece, Isabella of Valois, finally married her stepson, Edward II. Margaret and Edward seemingly had a good relationship, as both were of similar age with a two-year difference, despite being stepmother and stepson. Following the coronation of Isabella, Margaret retired to the Dowager estate of Marlborough Castle. She also became a victim of her stepson's favoritism to Piers Gaveston, who received various estates from Margaret, and the title of Earl of Cornwall, which was promised to one of her sons. Her detestation of Gaveston, saw her and her half-brother financially back the English barons who were against Gaveston, right up to his death in 1312. The same year in which Edward III was born, between Edward and Isabella and which Margaret was present for. Margaret, despite being widowed at such a young age never married again, stating, when Edward died, all men died for me. Margaret passed away in her castle at Marlborough in 1318, at the age of 46. She was buried at the Christ Church Greyfriars in London, but her tomb was destroyed during the Reformation between 1527 to 1590. Margaret will always be remembered as good nature and kind queen whose marriage helped cement the Plantagenet dynasty. She also partially lived through the turbulent reign of her stepson, Edward II, who was usurped by her niece Isabella of Valois, before her step-grandson Edward III rightfully claimed the throne.